Hello Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. This is your love scope for the last two weeks of September. So let's see what's coming your way. What's going on with your love life in the last two weeks of September? This one just flashed for me, divine love. So the last two weeks is going to be about divine love for you guys. So a divine counterpart perhaps. So let's have a look here. What's happening with this divine love? What's happening with this divine love for Pisces in the end of September? We have destiny. Something's destined. We have confidence. And we have give in. So Pisces, this divine love of yours, it is destined. And the thing with destiny is you can choose your own destiny, you can change your destiny, you can follow your destiny. It's entirely up to you. It's about you having the confidence to follow your heart, giving into your heart. This card for me when I created it, it was about giving into your heart. This is a heart, but this is two roses, yeah, but for me they're like two hearts. Give in to your heart, to your soul. Follow your path, soul, follow your destiny. One that has been carved out for you. One that is perhaps intertwined with your fate. You can walk your destiny. You can walk that road smoothly. But really, where's the fun in that? How do you learn and grow if everything is, is sun and roses? I don't think that's how the saying goes, but you know what I'm trying to say. But anyway, so it's all about your destiny and having confidence to follow your heart. So let's have a look at destiny. Tell me more about Pisces destiny. What's going on there with the destiny card? Why is the destiny card here? We have deception and self-worth. So... There might have been some kind of deception um, towards you. Something that perhaps knocked your self-worth or made you question your self-worth. The thing here is that you can either take this behavior from this other person as, as something that is, you know, it's destined to be that way. Or you can take that and you can change it. You can change your destiny in relation to deception. How you and your self-worth um uh, come together in, on your destiny on your journey um you can either believe this and be in a state of pride and ego where you have limited beliefs or you can transmute that and say irrespective of this deception i know my self-worth i know my destiny i have the confidence even though I've been hurt, to follow my path the way I want to do it. No one else tells me how to walk this path. I tell me how I'm going to walk this path. And that's where your self-worth comes in. That's where you um, thank them for the lessons learned, for whatever karma you've cleared, and be on your way. So let's have a look at confidence. Tell me more about confidence. Tell me more about confidence. Three cards, please. Thank you. We have tribe. You find your confidence and your uh, your uh, pillars, your foundations. Sorry, I don't know why I'm holding it upside down. Sorry. Your foundations within your tribe. This could be your soul family. This could be your blood family. This can be your friends. This can be, you know... The online communities, forums, but all signs point to that you hold the key. You hold the key when it comes to, you. again, self-worth, your confidence. You have everything it takes to unlock a closed door, perhaps, uh, to unlock something that you think is, is close to you or was previously close to you. Look at at your tribe for help and support when you have doubts about your self-worth and your confidence look at um 
your tribe look to your tribe for help and signs and encouragement when it comes to this uh to this to, to someone you're dating to this person you're dating but know that you hold the key when it comes to any and all things that has to do with per this person but mainly for you guys i feel that in the end of september you are too focused on yourself to really be worrying about anybody else because you are kind of working on yourself you're working on perhaps what it is you truly want what your heart desires are so that you can follow your heart so you're perhaps looking at the signs but the, the signs points to that you hold the key to what it is you want you know already what it is you want in your heart you just need to give in to your heart and follow your heart when it comes to your love life so pisces that was your love scope for the end of september i hope that resonates for you guys thank you so much for watching please like comment subscribe share if you feel so inclined and i'll see you guys next time bye